Welcome to the Pulse Capsuleers for a look back at the main news happenings from EVE Online in the year 2020. This year, EVE Online's content was split into themed quadrants for the first time, starting with Fight or Flight in January and followed up by Eclipse, Zenith and Phoenix. Here's a look back at some of the main quadrant highlights. This year, there were many regular updates to gameplay and meta in EVE Online. Some were themed within quadrants, while others focused on specific elements of gameplay. Here are some of the standout examples. There were many in-game events this year for Capsuleers to undock and get stuck into, so let's take a look at some returning favourites and some new additions. We'll be back with more for this end of year pulse after these short messages from our sponsors. A great deal of work has been done this year to realise the dream of a healthy ecosystem in New Eden. Long-term plans and changes were set in motion. Take a look. Abyssal-based PvE and EVE Online received a revamp this year with the introduction of Abyssal Proving Grounds, including Halloween and Yoa Yule Festival-themed arenas. <laughs> Twenty twenty was also a good year for providing further access to Eve Online for capsules across the globe, bringing more players into the amazing Eve universe with full localization of the Japanese Eve client and the relaunch of Eve in China. The universe also expanded with the launching of Eve Echoes on mobile.
Eve is beautiful, and to make it even more so, improvements were made to the in-game visuals all the way through the year. Beating heart of New Eden, Capsuleers have continued to write the history of EVE, including the small matter of two world records. You've also shown your capacity for great generosity and charity. Here are some EVE community highlights from 2020. Success in EVE can often come down to cold hard statistics, and this year saw no shortage of serious numbers being generated by Capsuleers. With the epic finale of the Triglavian invasion and the enormous player war in Nulsic space, Alton Havery and Lena Amber definitely had their hands full with the scope this year. There have been no shortage of deadly situations across New Eden in 2020, with plenty of seismic events that could have claimed thousands of capsuleers. Yet despite all of that, CCP Convict managed to find new and imaginative ways of meeting his end. Been out here for a long time and, well, frankly the suit's starting to smell a bit bad in here and starting to get a bit moist as well. You probably don't want to know about that. Ah, oh, jeez. Hopefully someone comes along soon. The bundle is available for 30% off, so make sure you stick it up to the floor. 
Seriously? Of course. That is Rooks and Kings right there. I feel like it might be a little bit safer for me to go into low sex space. So I'm off to seek my fortune. Just remember, I'm a professional. Whatever you do, don't get too close. I think I made it. Yeah, I just made it. Awesome. Well, I'll see you on the next episode of The Pulse. EVE players have been prolific in creating their own content this year, sharing their knowledge, passion and talent for EVE with their audiences and the community. CCP TV kicked into overdrive this year with lots of regular quality content on Twitch. We picked a few highlights for you here. That's all for this end of year episode of The Pulse. Remember to check the description below or the comments on Facebook for more information on the stories that we've covered. And hit subscribe to stay notified of any new videos that we post. Thank you to all Capsuleers for your amazing adventures and contributions in 2020. Soon you'll be able to immortalize those adventures in your own unique EVE video, which you can share with your friends or just for bragging rights. We look forward to a spectacular 2021 alongside you all. And now, some messages from our sponsors. 